So I first moved into the Seattle area in 2014 and um, my first couple of years living in Seattle I took a number of vacations to my uh, family's home in the East Coast. I went to see some former classmates in Rochester. I obviously went on a number of conferences in Taiwan and the Netherlands. And while I was in Europe, in the Netherlands, I took a train to Gdansk Bay, Poland, which became one of my favorite vacation destinations. And I took a trip to Macau. Now, obviously, uh, two years ago, all of that ended when we had to uh, social distance. And I lived in a number of other locations, but my longest uh, location was Phoenix, Arizona. I was working remotely as a professor uh, at a school here in Seattle and I also did some gig work when I was in Phoenix. Now here's the thing, during the four months in Phoenix I never felt like I needed to take a vacation away from Phoenix because over in Phoenix people actually accepted me for my ways of life. I was happily single, my dietary orientation, right, I, I, I like to eat healthy foods and I like to go on intermittent fasts. I actually made a friend who also did a fast for a religious holiday. I went along with her. Her fast was more extreme than the typical ones that I usually do. I got accepted for my choice of hobbies. I wouldn't say accepted, but people lived and let lived, right? So during the four months I lived there, I almost never thought about, oh my god, I get a three-day weekend, where am I going to go on vacation? No, I have a three-day weekend to enjoy in the Phoenix area. I was going bowling. I was stargazing and all that. Now there were a couple times, I love stargazing, there were a couple times where I had to drive out a little bit depending on weather conditions uh, to view conjunctions, full moons and all that. But I never thought that I, I, I should go out for more than that night. Right? I usually come back home even after I went stargazing. Over here in Seattle I go out to stargaze in Ellensburg and I literally sleep in the car over in Ellensburg, right? And I had to return home to Seattle back in late September and it seems like every week I, I'm dying to, to go on a vacation. I, I never get more than a couple days off. Um, I'm still working remotely at the university but I also took up a part-time job at a tutoring center. Now the high school students they get a midwinter break. I don't want to miss out on the students, so I asked the, my manager how busy is the tutoring center during midwinter break, and I found out it's even busier, not the best time to take a vacation, and my heart kind of sank. See, it would never turn out that way in Phoenix. Phoenix is the vacation. The point of this video is, if you find yourself wanting to go on vacation more than a couple times a year, you're probably living in the wrong place, and you're not wanting to go on vacation, you're wanting to go home. So think about where you're going to live.